and welcome to IELTS Live Thursday. Um, I want today to talk about time. So if you feel that you're not getting close to your IELTS or you're not finding time to prepare for your IELTS because you're too busy doing other things, then maybe this video can help you to align your priorities if you like so today i don't want to talk about time as in managing the reading or managing the writing i want just to talk generally about time for study and i meet students all the time who say i can't get started um i'm you know my my work doesn't give me much time um, my family commitments don't give me much time and sometimes it stops you in your tracks and it makes you almost um, inert so this kind of inertia not getting going not getting started uh, can manif manifest itself for many reasons and quite often it's not necessarily just to do with time and I think we all know that because during COVID, many, many people had plans to start new things, learn a new language, learn a new skill, um, watch online theatre, etc. There, there were many, many things that were available to us and we had endless time because many of us, I would say most of us, were stuck at home, unable to go out and yet if you put your hand on your heart how many of those things that you thought you could do did you actually achieve and i think everybody has had that experience during the pandemic so time has been proven through that not to be the issue we have a saying if you want something done give it to a busy person and that saying i think is true in many scenarios i think uh, in the workplace you often find that the people who achieve things the people that get things do, done are the people that are always busy that always have quite a lot to do but somehow they manage to organize things so that they can get things done so it's sometimes down to an individual character um, so I want to look at three areas that might be stopping you and which contribute to your I haven't got time. So if you're saying to yourself, I haven't got time, I can't find the time, it's difficult to make the time to prepare for my IELTS, to study, whatever it is, it may be due to one of these three reasons. And the first reason is how committed are you? So how important is it for you to get your IELTS? In my experience, those people who are really committed will make the time to do it because it's a priority. Um, I am learning to play the piano. Now, when I started learning, it was a priority to become much better than I am. But over time, I know that there are many days when I just almost can't be bothered to practice because it's not such a priority. It isn't something that I have to do right now that I have to achieve actually ever. I'm not going to be a concert pianist. It's more something that I do for myself. So there isn't a priority there. So therefore, my commitment to the piano is rather less than it might be if I were about to take an exam. Um, I have students who often cancel their lessons due to work commitments, family commitments, etc. But then I have other students who have the same work commitments and the same family commitments, but they never cancel their lessons and they always do their homework because in a sense they are more committed to the cause more committed to getting their IELTS as soon as they can now I'm not judging I'm not saying that one person is any better than the other but that for some people that commitment to the IELTS is a priority 
perhaps because they have a deadline, perhaps because they've already booked their test. Whereas those people who don't have such a commitment, um, maybe it's not a real big priority. So you have to think yourself, how much of a priority is it and how committed are you to getting it done? And that could be feeding into you not having any time because you can do it tomorrow or you can do it next week. Okay, so the second reason why you might not be finding time to prepare your IELTS or work on your IELTS is that it's too open-ended. Now, I always think it's a mistake to book a test before you know you're ready. And I would always advise people, don't book your test until you know that you're almost ready to get the score that you want. However, on the other side of the coin, there are people that never book their test or never set themselves a deadline. Now, you can set yourself a deadline without booking the test. You can say, I want to be ready for this in December with an idea that you'll book your test for January. And if you're, you set yourself a firm deadline, then that's going to give you a reason to really commit to the study and the preparation. But a lot of people leave it too open-ended. I'll do it when I'm ready. Now, I'll do it when I'm ready might mean a few months, might mean a few years, might mean never. So it is a good idea if you want to get this done to have some sense of when you want it done. Now, give yourself that deadline. That doesn't mean book the test. It means I hope or I want to be ready by the end of December. And if I am, then I'll book my test. So try not to be too open-ended. Try to have some sort of deadline, even if it's just your personal deadline. And if you have that in mind, then I think you're going to be more inclined to make the time to actually do the work. And then you'll manage the rest of your life, your work commitments, your family commitments, etc. And you'll be able to fit in some time. Now, if you go back to um, a live I did, I think it's two or three weeks ago, I talked about how you can arrange your time so that it's not too much um, and even if you just do half an hour a day or an hour three times a week if you set yourself that goal then you can fit it around your other the other parts of your life and then the third reason why people say I haven't got time I can't make the time there isn't enough time is because quite frankly it's too overwhelming and that can be the case. If you're starting out with IELTS and you think, OK, I've got to practice the listening. I've got to practice the reading. I've got to practice the writing and the speaking. I need to learn some vocabulary. I need to learn some grammar. I need to learn some idioms. And so it goes on and it can feel overwhelming. And that is a really key thing for putting it off. And in my experience of teaching, not just IELTS, but English generally and teaching generally, I know that a lot of students just get overwhelmed. And the best way to deal with overwhelm is to put your head firmly in the sand, like an ostrich. Then you don't have to think about it. You don't have to address it. You don't have to do it. So if your reason for saying I haven't got any time is that you feel overwhelmed then you need to break down the task you need to do small chunks bite-sized pieces and that means don't be in a hurry to do everything at once so maybe you could do 15 minutes of listening today just do a part one just do the first section of the listening just do the first reading passage. Don't try and do all of it. Just start by writing an introduction for your task one or your task two. And then learn three new words and check two grammar items. 
and that would be a good week's work and if you are overwhelmed and you're finding it too much then set your deadline further away so don't set your deadline in December set your deadline maybe for March or April which gives you more time and just do those few tasks each week and you'll find that by December you've actually made a lot of progress and you'll feel less overwhelmed and you'll feel closer to your target so that's the best way to deal with being overwhelmed by what you have to do break it down do it in smaller chunks and set yourself a longer deadline and by doing that you will definitely find the time so just to recap if you're saying I haven't got time for study we know it's probably not really to do with the time it's either are you really committed to this is it that important and think about how important it is if it isn't then do you really need to do it now can you put it off and do it next year or the year after number two is it just too open-ended have you set yourself even a personal deadline because if you haven't got a, a, a time then you're not going to really rush to do it so if the problem is that you haven't got a proper deadline then make yourself a deadline i want to be ready in december or i want to be ready in january and then make that your deadline and then set your timetable to achieve it and thirdly are you just too overwhelmed by what you have to do if so break it down do a little bit each day and set your deadline further into the future okay and if you need help with all of this if you need a plan and a scheme of work that is fixed so that you know what you have to do every day and you can get feedback from me and feedback from other members of my group then join the IELTS Champions Club that's a very red not regimented that's the wrong word it's a very regular way of getting um, training from me and having lessons every day that you can do easily and they're not too difficult and I'll put the link after the video so that you can find out more information and jump on board if you need any more help with that you can just send me a message in messenger okay so I hope that was useful let me just see if there are any questions okay right i don't know what that is yourself really i'm not quite sure but um we'll see so um have a lovely weekend make sure that you spend time on your ielts or it will never happen but don't get too overwhelmed okay and i'll see you next week in another um ielts live thursday bye everybody